Motorola also presents for the first time here in Berlin on the IFA the Moto Z Play. And as you can see here, that's the Moto Z. It's really the same. It's really a brother model. They have same, except the both dimensions, the same size of display. That's 5.5 inch. The only difference is it's only full HD, meaning 1080 by 1920 pixels instead of like the Z over here, 1440 by 2560. But nevertheless, let me go into the app launcher and come a little closer. I hope you can see and that the autofocus is doing well here. So let me know in the comments how you find the difference in sharpness. I do not see here in nature that much at the moment. Of course, it's a little bit busy here. Nevertheless, from the first view, I'd say it's no big deal concerning this, especially because you have, of course, a, yeah, let's say, some pros and some cons. The pro is, of course, that you have a bigger battery. In that case, it's 3,510 milliamps instead of 2,600 on the other side. So it's way bigger. Yeah, well, seven millimeters is still thin, but compared to the 5.2 millimeters here, you see the difference, of course, and especially you feel that. That's 136 grams instead of 165. So, of course, and remember this one was the uh, Qualcomm 820. This is only the 624, but nevertheless, eight cores, two gigahertz, so it's powerful, nevertheless. And you have three gigabyte of RAM and the same uh, 32 gigabyte internal memory here. Uh, I think at the moment there has not been unveiled a 64 gigabyte version of this one, like this one will be the Z in some regions. Uh, here it's first with 32 gigabyte internal memory, but you can expand up to two terabyte officially, no problem at all. You have Wi-Fi IC, you have 4G and everything you have. Uh, the USB type C uh, connector over here. The only difference I found also is that you do not have here Wi Fi AC like on this one. That's the only thing, I guess. And the um, processor, of course. Last one is here the. Um, um, the camera, you don't have that optical image stabilizer and you do have 16 instead of 13 megapixels, but there are smaller pixels and you have not an aperture of 1.8, but 2.0. So let's see how the photos and videos are doing. By the way, videos only in full HD and on the front again, five megapixel like this one, videos in 720p only instead of 100 uh, uh, of 1080 like this one full HD here. So if you're doing a lot of selfie videos, maybe this could a little bit short with 720p only, but for photos, great, you have that front flash also. So now it's up to you to decide, do you need really power? Uh, are you a gamer with this one here for all day long? Or do you like a little bit more like this? Also the um, X, uh, uh, sorry, the Z Play is coming also in September for 449 euro compared to 699. So this is quite a difference, I'd say. Um, and last but not least, of course, you have the same Moto mods like this one here, for example. This is the JBL power pack with stereo speakers here. Just magnetical dock on here, like on the Moto Z I've shown you already. So it's the same uh, idea uh, on the principal concept here. So now I hope this is enough for a first impression here from the IFA in Berlin with the Motorola Moto X, sorry, <laughs> Moto Z. Z play, it's too deep for ears. Okay, I think you've got it. Thanks for watching, take care and bye.